Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. And welcome to Garage Ed. You know, we dedicated an entire segment on everything that has to do with electricity and electrical. And why not? Cars are riddled with electronic components from the front to the rear. We talked about voltage, amps, ohms, resistance. We talked about lighting, relays. We talked about everything that has to do with electricity. But you know, it's only as good as the wiring itself. And Rock Auto shipped us everything we need to do the job right and do it right the first time. You can see it right here on the table. We got some wire loom right here. Secure your wires down with these ties. The wire in itself, you actually have a soldering iron so we can do the wire job correctly. One of the coolest tools right here, this is going to hold the wire so we can actually solder it together and we have all the other tools that we're going to use. Tom, I'm going to need your help, man. You're going to join me on this wiring section. I mean, wiring, it's important on a car. Yeah, it's fun to use this tool. I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna solder up a joint, but take a look at this graphic. Tom, you go ahead and start stripping right. that wire. This is pretty cool because there's a couple of different types of wire types. There's the pigtail, there's actually the T-type, and then there's the Western Union to do these things right. We're just gonna take a butt connector and put it together and solder one to show you. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing it the old school way. You're stripping that one over there. I'm gonna use this new tool here from rockauto.com, and I'm gonna probably make you look pretty bad there <laughs> in two seconds that's the cool thing this thing right here this is a wire stripper so what i did i put it in there i stripped it back now what i'm doing while you're fussing with that i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to knock out one of these butt connectors right here and why do i want to do that because we're going to make a total solder joint a little bit different maybe you know butt connectors are fine and some of the other wires rare pairs are fine as well but this is going to be cool because we're going to take this right here, Tom, and what we're going to do, if you take your wire and your cool tool right there and put it in there, get that in, and then what I'll do is I'll put the butt connector in, and then we're going to put the other end in right here, and then what we can do is we can actually solder this joint, and that's cool because look, it's holding it. So you grab some rosin core solder, and I'll fire up the torch. Once we get that thing lit, now Tom, the solder is actually going to wick to the flame, which is really neat. So if I just come under here and get this hot, you'll see it'll eat that solder here in a heartbeat. Just leave a little pressure. There it goes. It's going to fill that completely up. Now, why are we doing this? Well, we talked about resistance in one of the prior episodes. We don't want any resistance. Come on over this side and just fill her up a little bit. There you go. That'll work. Let me see if I do this without burning you. Beautiful. Now, that's a nice joint right there. Now I can come over here and just kind of cool it for us, just for time's sake, and get it out of there. What do you got for us, Tom? Got some shrink wrap to make sure it's properly insulated. And that's huge when we're talking about all this resistance and corrosion and everything going on. So we slip that over the wire like so. It even matches come the back. color. Yeah, it matches the color. We didn't have to do that, but we sure did. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can fire this thing back up and show you how that shrink wrap actually works. So if I just come over and I heat this, man, that's really cool. So look at what we're doing. We're taking away any water, any corrosion right there. And the coolest part about that is, let me put this down here. All right, if you give that joker a tug, oh, don't be afraid of it. That's a solder <laughs> joint. That's not coming apart and you have no resistance. Right, yeah, better than new. Yeah, absolutely. Because we use a lot of tools here, let's go check them out on your website. Sure, I'll show you where to find them. Tom, we got a good wire connection, but that doesn't happen by happenstance, man. Show us on your website some of the stuff that deals with wire repairs. Well, the, the tools we were just using are under the Tools and Universal Parts tab. Every category, cooling, brakes, we have a tool section, and, and there's fun tools like that you may not know exist. Uh, I know, see ground straps here, that's something we should mention is, is grounding is so important, especially on newer cars, you get a little corrosion, rust, and, and the, the ground goes bad, your computers could be not working, just all sorts of gremlins may show up. Big time, yeah. I mean, voltage drops on a ground side, I think people misconceive that all the time. I mean, it's just as important as the positive side. We start losing voltage there. Components are starving for voltage. They're starving for voltage. They're wearing out. So, I mean, you got ground straps as well? Yeah, yeah, we have ground straps. We, we wrote a, we sent out a, a newsletter twice a month where we cover topics like this, and that, that's something we, we explored in detail was, was grounding. Is it okay to run another ground wire, or you, you want to run too thin a gauge ground wire and, and bypass things, and that, that wire will burn up, and you, you might create more gremlins, so. Can you pull up one of those newsletters? Sure. So you're talking about right here, I mean, everything's on there, OE ground cables, and, and you just highlighted an awesome part once you read that for us. I mean, that's huge. 
Right, yeah, you, you, uh, you want to keep the component grounded in, in the section of the engine compartment where it was originally grounded? Yeah, and I love this, good wiring practices. I mean, the wire's got to be, you know, the right size. It can't be too long. It can't run through a heat source. I mean, all that, we deal with that every day in rockauto.com. I mean, it's right here. We deal with it here at Tech Garage. Well, we're going to take a short break, but stick around. We'll be back with the video question of the week as soon as we return with more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com.